Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new to my channel, I'm a digital analytics consultant and I'm very enthusiastic about new technologies in the data world like CDP. So if you're working on anything like Adobe Analytics, Adobe Target, Audience Manager, any Tag Manager or CDP, this is the channel for you. So today we are going to talk about how to prepare for Adobe Audience Manager Business Practitioner or expert certification. So hop on everyone. So this is basically my strategy of how to prepare for this exam, right? So in general, the first thing is that for Adobe certifications, the thumb rule goes to cover their documentation. And the more thorough you can be with it, the better it is. If you use Adobe videos, it may not cover the content entirely. So I will always suggest for the documentation part. The next step is to go and do hands on, you know, explore the tool as much as you can. Whatever topics you have, it's segments, traits, signals, whatever topic you have not used, uh, you know, audience lab, you've not used it in your project. I would say go ahead and explore the tool right for that particular topic. So that's about it. And then the next comes to go and look at the exam guide. Once you are done with the documentation, practice exercises, go ahead and look at the exam guide. Give it a read of whatever it's saying, right? The main thing in that exam guide is to look at the topics. What is the weightage of each topic? And they have given some hints on those topics, like what they are going to test you on. So it is better that you go through that and, uh, you know, that will be better. And last, you need to look at this video to fine tune your strategy, right? Do note that you will get case study based or scenario based questions only for this exam, right? You will get very less direct questions and compared to Adobe Analytics or Target, this one is a tougher, okay? So this is the Adobe documentation page, right? That I was talking about, right? You have these topics, overview, features, reporting, right? These three. These three are the most important ones from a business practitioner certification perspective, right? And uh, like in reporting, you have the different types of reports. In features, you have different features like addressable audiences is one important topic. Then audience lab, audience marketplace and so on and forth. And in overview, it will just cover the overall perspective, right? What is audience manager for and like what are the types of data, first party, second party, third party, right? This one here is a very important article. So these are the three more important topics. And then you have one more important topic in the implementation and integration. So this is talking more or less about how to implement and how to integrate, right? Audience manager, but uh, from a certification perspective for business practitioner, Sending audience data, receiving audience data, and ID synchronization. These three are important topics that is covered under this one. So you should know about that, right? So this is, uh, do go through this one thoroughly as much as you can. So this is the uh, audience manager business practitioner exam guide that we were talking about, right? And uh, we need to go through this one, right? They have all these exam topics also mentioned here which is very important to have a look at before we uh, you know fine tune our preparation so let's look at these exam topics this is the exam topics that we have right here you can see all these topics here so you have the segments right uh you have the uh you are talking about the first party second party third party data here right then if you look at the traits, then there is reporting, right? So they have given you what they're going to test, right? Like for here in reporting, they are saying that given a scenario, analyze audience optimization, right? Then you have troubleshooting, right? Troubleshooting is a very important topic. Now, as you can see, they are talking about determine the correct method to perform QA against the ID sync. So this is where when I read this, I realized, okay, I need to be thorough with the ID sync process also because that is what they're going to test me at. Then they are also talking about how to validate the inbound files, how to validate the offline inbound files. So that's why I realized that receiving and sending audience data 
understanding that process is also very important right so go through these topics and test yourself whether you are ready to answer these questions right you know how to update the rule based and onboarded traits right and if you think to answer to each one of these uh, topics is yes that you can answer these questions that is where you can tell yourself okay i'm prepared or if i am not okay i need to read this topic more that's what the entire guidance here it is all about so guys i have put in a list of important topics here which can guide you for your preparation right now i followed a descending order of importance so you have the first topic as the most important one and then the less important ones and so on right so we have the first one here as segments traits signals now first understand what each of these are right whatever it is there everything related to them because this is the most important topic right for, like for traits you should know the different types of trade which business case which you would use when right so when you would go for a rule based versus an onboarded trade you should be comfortable with the process of creating them folder traits is also very important right you will get some questions on them as well when i talk of segments you should know how to create them and then you should also know about recency frequency that is a very important topic when it comes to segments right you can get two questions on just recency and frequency only right the next one is troubleshooting right so troubleshooting it's a very deep topic right it's also mentioned in the exam guide be prepared for that one right um example visitor profile viewer right that helps you check for traits or segments qualification whatever trait segments you have realized right so that is one way of troubleshooting so you should know everything about this troubleshooting topic it has a good weightage also so uh, when i talk of segments traits signals you need to know about creation you need to know about the taxonomy thing troubleshooting business use cases which when where to use where all that stuff right let's look at the second topic so the second topic is reporting right so you'll have different types of reports i have not mentioned each of those i've just mentioned the three most important ones which is the general report trend report and onboarding status report right these three reports are very important but yes there are more reports and you will get questions on other reports as well right these are just the most important ones do note topics like uh, unique trait realization total segment population total trait population these uh, topics need to be understood very carefully you would be tested on questions around these topics right next is addressable audiences now this again is a very important topic you will get around one to three questions on this one you should understand what is match rate what is customer addressable audience what is segment addressable audience just go through the adobe documentation on this one thoroughly they have just one article devoted to this particular topic do go through it very thoroughly it will be helpful you will be given one case study question or a scenario based question and you will be asked tell us what is the match rate what is the customer addressable audience and so on and forth any of those metrics or you would be asked why there is a low match rate right now again addressable audiences is another way of troubleshooting so you can be asked questions like that you have sent a segment to a destination and the destination shows low reporting numbers why or what will be your next steps right so that is one thing the next topic is data now i'll talk about the different topics when i talk of data so there is the first one is types of data collected types of data collected when we talk about first party second party third party data you will get some question around this topic right you should understand what this what is first party what is second party what is third party data you should be able to differentiate between the three of them right next you should understand the types of data sources like inbound outbound everything about mentioned at the data sources category in audience manager documentation you should know right very very important topic 
you should understand the process of id synchronization very very good understanding you need on this topic sending and receiving audience data that is also very important okay another important topic that you definitely will get some question around is data export controls okay so that is also very important moving on the next topic is destinations now in destinations they you should just know the different types of destination like cookie server to server right and the basic differences between them which destination to use when you know which one to use when that's very important for destinations next one is profile merge rules profile merge rule again you will get scenario based questions okay you should know the different types and you will get scenarios based on those and you'll have to choose the appropriate option now adobe documentation you will also get some examples because they've given examples to explain those uh, profile merge rules you can get an idea from those examples as well how the question will come right and last is uh, these uh, different topics audience lab audience marketplace algorithmic models data explorer you will be just asked basic questions on these you will not be asked any deep questions so you you can cover these topics on an overall perspective and that would be enough right so this is all for today all the best for your preparation do well hope this video is helpful and do like share and subscribe comment on any topics that you would like me to cover and i'll be glad to share my guidance on the same